Daniel at the assessment toolbox here. We are looking at writing expressions. When things happen back to back, are you able to figure out mathematically what's happening? Is it adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? So let's look at this first phrase right here. Add 6 to 10, then divide by 4. This could be a real-life situation in a lot of different ways. Let's look at what this shows us with the numbers and operations. Add 6 to 10. Well, 10 is our starting point, and we add 6 to it. Then we divide by 4. That word then tells us, tells us it comes after. 10 plus 6 divided by 4. Now, normally, if you see addition and division, you would do the division before. And that's going to give us a different answer. It's actually incorrect. We do this section first, add 6 to 10, and to show that, we mark it with parentheses. If you need more help with parentheses, there's a full video link in the description. 10 plus 6 is coming first, then we divide by 4. So I'm going to take us over to the table, move some gems around, show some of these operations happening, and it will be up to you to convert it into an expression like this. And sometimes we need those parentheses to show grouping and which parts happen first. So let's head to the table, and you can follow along, figure out what's happening mathematically. All right, here's our starting amount. For each of these, I'm not going to tell you up front how many there are. You need to be following along to count and see how many there are. So this is my starting amount, and I'm going to bring in a bunch more. So let me do that right here. Great, I just brought in a bunch more, and I'll just do a little bit of grouping so that you can see. But remember, we started with this group here. We brought in all of these, and now they're one large group. Let's set up for the second operation. Now we're set up for the second operation. Figure out mathematically what happens when I do this. I just split it. I just separate it into two equal groups. Had been one group, and now I'm going to pull apart one of those. And separate groups are created right there. Two groups to be exact. What is that mathematically? Okay, let's go through this. Our starting amount was three. So in our expression, we could show the number three first. And I brought in a big group, and if you counted them carefully, there were nine more. So that would be three plus nine is what that looks like, three plus nine. Then I rearranged these guys just to show the total amount. Our current total amount is 12. When I brought this in and I split them into two, that splitting action is dividing by two. So this part shows us 12 divided by two. All right, here's the next one. This is my starting amount. I'll let you count it. Take a look right there. My first step is going to be to remove this group right there. So what just happened mathematically? Could you picture that with numbers? I had my starting amount, and then I removed that. What does that look like with numbers? Here's the next step. Now there are four groups. What is that mathematically? Can you figure out with numbers and operations what just happened. Just to review, if you saw 7 minus 3 times 4, normally you do the multiplication before that. 3 times 4 would be the first part. But that would leave us 7 minus 12, which gets us into negatives, which is something that's probably going to come a lot later for you. By simply grouping the 7 minus 3 first, and we can group them with parentheses, that tells us to actually do 7 minus 3 first, and then we'll multiply after. So 7 minus 3, and now it's what we have left times 4. It's really not 3 times 4, it's what's left times 4, or that 7 minus 3 equals 4 times 4. So that's what we showed here with 4 times 4. In those examples, we had one each of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And so when we look at physical objects, adding looks like bringing in more, just like that. Subtraction is the opposite, and we can see that so easily. Pulling apart from this group is subtraction. What makes multiplication and division different is that they happen in equal groups. So 3 times 3 could look like this, 3 groups of 3. We started off with one group of three, 
And now the other three is how many groups we have. Three groups of three. Division simply splits apart into equal groups. And so if I was to divide this into groups of two, then I could pull apart into pairs so that each section separately is two. Division can happen one of two ways. You can decide to split it into that many groups or make groups that size. So if I was to split by two, we can think of that in two different ways. The first is groups of two. The second one is two groups. Just like that. So now you should have a good idea of what adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing looks like in different groups. Great job.